What's up, y'all? I'm not gonna do a cheesy intro or anything like that, like how we typically do. I'm not gonna edit this video. Furthermore, I'm not going to monetize this video. So whoever sees it, you see it. The most I'll probably do is a, a thumbnail. Um, we we lost a lot of people in the past two or three years, and I'm sitting here with my brother. He came over. Um, or, you know, Julie went out to get dinner, so, you know, my Discord started blowing up, my Facebook's blowing up, and YouTube apparently is blowing up, too, because Chris Ayers just passed. Um, look, I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, I didn't just find out what his name was two weeks ago. And the reason why I found that out is because if you follow the channel, you know that we have a Patreon and you know that we have... We, we schedule videos and we edit them. We pre-record them and then we, we put them out on YouTube as we edit them. So, during the Frieza saga on Patreon, I was talking about how I prefer this version of Frieza over, over Linda's version of Frieza. Uh, and the reason why everybody's freaking out is because they know, well, free, at least to me, the freaking out to me, and coming to me is because they know that Frieza is my favorite character of all time. Like, I have a tattoo of Frieza. Frieza is my favorite Dragon Ball villain, favorite villain, favorite whatever you want to call him. Frieza is it for me. Frieza, Inuyasha, and like a few other characters. But Frieza is the one that I got tatted here, right? Um, every game he's in, I play Frieza. Like, my dog's name is Frieza. Um, when we went to Japan, like we got Frieza jackets. The mo all of my Dragon Ball merch, like the majority of my Dragon Ball merch, I would say 98% of my Dragon Ball merch, it's all Frieza. Like if Frieza's on it, I bought it. Um, I have the Frieza Dragon Ball sneakers. Like Frieza is my favorite character of all time, right? So that's why everybody's coming to me and trying to get like, you know, let me know what's going on. So back to what I was saying. A few weeks ago, we were recording the, the Frieza saga uh, and I was saying how I like Chris's version of Frieza better than Linda's version of Frieza, even though I love Linda's version of Frieza. And I'm not trying to make this a, comp a comparison video. Just hang out with me for a minute because I'm not going to edit this. Um, Linda's version of Frieza is what made me love Frieza. Like what made me fall in love with the character because of the pop goes the weasel and all of that shit, right? Um, but what... What solidified my love for Frieza was Chris's Frieza. I like the accent. I love how how Frieza talks. To me, like Frieza sounded more like an evil villain when with Linda's Frieza, but this version of Frieza to me was more um I don't know, had more personality, if that makes sense. Like with the, with Chris's version of Frieza, I always wondered like what does Frieza like to eat? You know, what does, what, what does Frieza do in his, like, alone time? Because, you know, you feel like the character is alive with Chris's Frieza, in my opinion. So, that's why I'm not going to sit here. And the reason why I, I bring that, that story up is because in the comments and, you know, in messages and stuff like that, people told me, like, oh, yeah, Chris Ayers is the person who did Frieza. So, I literally just found out about, like, who he is. I'm not the type of person to go deep into knowing the names of the people behind the characters. Um, or let me, not, let me not say I'm not the type. I haven't been the type. I am now. Um, ever since we started doing this reaction stuff on YouTube, I started looking it up because you start to hear similar voices in different dubs. So now I can tell you who's who and where's where and what's what, right? Um, but much like what happened with Berserk, right? Uh... We started watching Berserk and like on episode five or six or something like that, we find out that Kentaro dies. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, I can't have shit. Like I can't have nothing because now, you know, Berserk will never see how it finishes or at least it finished, but I didn't watch, I didn't read the chapter because, you know, I'm going to read it with you guys, but um, the chapter came out and apparently it's the final chapter, right? So now we have this. First, I want to say, you know, my heart goes out to Chris's family and I'm trying not to get like, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm just. Anyway, my heart goes out to his family. 
Um, it it just sucks, man. And not just because, not just because, like he's Frieza. He's my favorite character. You know, a lot of people have died. I didn't make videos for like I only make videos about people who like affected me and I feel like Chris's Frieza, Frieza affected me because everybody knows Frieza is my favorite character based off of Chris's rendition of Frieza um if you've known me forever when I was a kid and stuff like that then you know Frieza is my favorite character you've you've already known that. I don't have to explain it to you but for the people who just met me or who just met me in the past few years or met me as like so I'll give you I'll give you another story did you come with me to see Fukatsu no F? Yes. So when they did when they did Battle of the Gods, I went to go see it in the theaters, right? When they announced Fukatsu no F, it was just like, oh, this person's back. We don't know who it is. And everybody swore it was Broly. Everybody swore it was Broly. Even I was like, oh, it's Broly, it's Broly, it's Broly, it's Broly. Yeah, it's it has to be Broly, right? But then when they announced it was Frieza, I about blew up, bro. Like, like breaking shit, flipping shit. Like, I couldn't believe it. Everybody else was like, oh, my God, it's Frieza. And I'm like, Frieza, oh, my God, they're bringing him back. Like, you know, I, like, lost my shit. Just, like, I love the character. And then when I first heard Chris's version of Frieza, I fell in love. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, hearing it, I was just like, wow. Now... <laughs> This is Frieza, bro. Like, this is a Frieza. Not to say that Linda's Frieza is not. But this right here is the Frieza that I love. And it's like, it sucks because, you know, with the whole Granola arc happening, you know, Frieza's a big deal in the Granola arc. And I was excited for Frieza to come back. I did not know, and the reason why I told you the story earlier about us reacting to the show, I did not know that Chris had a medical condition. I had no idea. I wasn't following it. I wasn't up you know, on it, like, wasn't privy to it, I had no idea, all I know, I'm scrolling through Facebook, and I see rest in peace, and I'm like, what, and then next thing you know, everything starts flipping out, Discord, uh, YouTube, like, I'm getting YouTube comments, and then people in my Facebook is hitting me up, like, yo, like, Chris is dead, and I'm like, <sighs> like, another one, we just keep losing, we just keep losing people, bro, like, now, apparently, because obviously I looked it up, apparently he's been dealing with this for a while and he's at peace now. You know, he doesn't have to suffer anymore. And for me, I think that is what's more important. Not like I think his legacy is important and I think that he no longer has to suffer is important. Not that we won't get to see him anymore, like do more Frieza stuff. We won't get to have him voice act. I am a big proponent of I don't like to see people suffer. And apparently he's been suffering for years. So... I'm truly sorry. Like, I sit here as a fan, um, and it sucks that I found out about him late. You know, it just sucks, you know. Um, this whole situation is trash. I hope his family is good, though, and, like, I'm glad he's just not suffering anymore. I made this whole video to say that. I'm glad that he's not suffering anymore. He's not in pain, and I wanted to thank him. Since, you know, I'll never get a chance to meet him. I want to thank him or thank you for, you know, reintroducing me to a love of a character that I've already been in love with, you know, for, for you know, entertaining us. You know what I'm saying? Like, every time Frieza was on the screen, I was glued to what Frieza was saying, to what Frieza was doing. Like, I was glued to it. I was involved, like, invested in, like, your performance as Frieza. You know, that's all I know you for. Um, I'm sure you did more work that, you know, I'll find out once this video is over and I'll start looking at your, your you know, your past, your prior works. But I know you for Frieza. And just for that little bit of time that you were Frieza, you know, you made an impact on me. This Frieza is not, this is, this Frieza came after you were Frieza. Just so you know, I got this tattoo after Fukatsu no F and on and Super was done. I got this tattoo two years ago, you know, so this is based off of your Frieza. So thank you, man. I'm glad you're not suffering anymore. And, you know, I hope you rest well. I'm just I'm trying to find the right words to say to respect your legacy and what, you know, your version of Frieza meant to me, you know, and the fact that we have years of your work, even if it's just one character, 
it if you know that affected me it, you mean you mean a lot to me you know i just i really i really don't know or have anything else to say except you know thank you thank you and i hope you rest well for real seriously because man yeah that's that's it sorry guys i know this is like terrible news like i said this I'm not gonna monetize this or nothing. It's just gonna go up. You know, I might make a thumbnail. I might make a thumbnail. I don't know. I just wanted to get this out. Um, I don't know if his family will ever see this, but you know, his work meant a lot to me. It meant a lot to me. And like I said, it sucks that I found out about him late. Like his name, who he is, the man behind Frieza. So yeah, that's it.